What's going on everyone and welcome back to another video. My name is Oman and today's analysis video is going to be about the player who has been heavily linked with the move to Manchester United, Bruno Fernandes. So Bruno Fernandes has been heavily linked with the move to Manchester United since the summer of 2019. And according to some of the most recent reports, Manchester United are actually discussing a possible January transfer of Bruno Fernandes with Sporting Lisbon. In today's analysis video, we are going to analyze Bruno Fernandes' gameplay and we will also try to see what he can actually offer to Manchester United. So Manchester United have mostly used a 4-2-3-1 formation this season, which often changes to a more like 3-2-3-2 formation with possession. Marcus Rashford often moves from the left wing to join Martial up front and Brandon Williams moves up to give the attacking width from the left side. Daniel James mostly tries to keep his width on the right flank and thus Van Bissaka makes a back three with his centre backs. And that means one of Jesse Lingard or Andreas Pereira often occupy the number 10 position. But unfortunately, neither Lingard nor Pereira has the creative element to their gameplay, to find spaces in between the lines and link with the front two. These two players don't have the ability to effectively link Manchester United's defence with their offence. And this is where Bruno Fernandes comes into play. Bruno Fernandes is someone who has the ability to identify small pocket of spaces in between the lines. And he also has a creative element to his game. He has the vision and passing range to link with the front two. And above all, Bruno Fernandes is someone who is not afraid of taking shots from a long distance. If you give him any time or space on the ball near the goal box, he will make you pay for it. So we can see here that Bruno Fernandes is moving in between the lines, the striker drops deep and he pulls the centre back out of his defensive line to open the space in the defence. Bruno Fernandes was once again aware of the situation and he immediately made a run to exploit the space. Finding spaces in between the lines and since he has a great shooting range, so if you give him any time or space on the ball, he will make you pay for it. The striker drops in between the lines and he pulls the centre back out of his defensive line to open the space in the defence. And Bruno Fernandes has the awareness to assess the situation and he also has the ability to play line breaking passes. Bruno Fernandes has been creating 3.7 chances per game this season, which is better than all the Manchester United players. Pogba is the only Manchester United player who has averaged more than 2 chances per game. So including Bruno Fernandes in this team will most definitely give a creative spark to Manchester United. But considering the difference in the quality of the two leagues, people shouldn't get surprised if Bruno's numbers go down a bit in the Premier League. Bruno's biggest strength is definitely his shooting range and that's what makes him a goal-scoring midfielder. Bruno Fernandes has been averaging 3.6 shots per game this season, which is a crazy number for a midfielder. Bruno takes a high number of shots on the goal and this is why he also scores a lot of goals. His excellent shooting range makes him a big threat from outside the box and also from the set pieces, which is something Manchester United are badly lacking at the moment.
Manchester United had a few issues at the start of the season from the penalty spot. And now Rashford seems to be their number one choice for the penalty kicks, even though Rashford has already missed two penalties this season. And Bruno Fernandes can definitely help Manchester United in this department, as he has kept a 100% record from the penalty spot this season, scoring six goals from the penalty spot. Bruno Fernandes can definitely provide a creative spark and a goal-scoring threat from the midfield to this Manchester United team. So what are your thoughts on this signing? Do you think Man United will be able to get him in this window? Comment below and let me know. Thank you so much guys for watching the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please don't forget to like and subscribe.